People in the classroom and violence in the halls. A Wint News exclusive investigation has uncovered serious issues in one Southwest Florida community. Peter Fleischer sits down with one family who's experienced the struggles firsthand. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Whether she's showing off artwork or describing her personality, Danielle Kicker gets a big smile on her face when asked to describe her daughter. Patricia isn't her daughter's real name, but will use it to protect her privacy. She loves everybody. She has the biggest heart. She doesn't like it when people are upset around her. Madonna Lewis, Patricia's grandmother, does the same when she thinks about her granddaughter starting school in Lehigh Acres barely two years ago. Yeah, she was so excited. You know, um, of course it's scary a new school, but she was so excited. Patricia was a sixth grade student at Veterans Park Academy earlier this year when she started to try to avoid going to school. Her family realized she was being bullied and began to fear for her safety. Eventually, at her breaking point, Kicker says she went to the school herself and spoke with an administrator. And I said, this bullying has to stop. This little girl doesn't want to come to school. This girl, this little girl is scared to come to school. She promised me she was in good hands. <laughs> and that day, this all happened. 12-year-old Patricia was not in good hands. Police paperwork confirms her mom talked to the principal just hours before her daughter was assaulted. In a bathroom in front of a crowd of other students. Nobody protected her. No one did. I mean, how, how can you hear all that noise and see all those children running? Where, where are the adults? Where are the adults here? We are ready to begin this evening's board meeting. The district school board member for Lehigh Acres, Armour Persons, knows about the attack on Patricia. While he couldn't explain why she wasn't protected that day, he says school employees are going through new training this summer to identify and handle disruptive situations. All the administrations learning how to make sure everything is reported from bullying to everything else. If there needs to be more faculty put toward the issue or more training or whatever, then that's what uh, we, we do, that's our job. But that new training does not help with damage that's already been done. Patricia came home battered and her family is heartbroken. It was horrible. I, I mean, you didn't know what to do. You didn't know how to take the pain away. It is absolutely the worst thing I've ever had to go through. Patricia left veterans after the January attack, but students at her new school had seen the viral video and began bullying her too. They turned their backs on her, so she had no one. Eventually, she left Florida to live with extended family in Missouri. The Lee County School Districts fail. Patricia's attack is one of dozens of fights Wink News observed on social media in recent months, nearly all of them from schools located in Lehigh Acres. We even found several social media pages dedicated solely to posting fights. <laughs> Persons has seen the fight videos and the pages. He wants to stop the problem at its source. I personally think there should be no cell phones. In school. It, it is a problem and parents seem to be very reluctant to give up the cell phones. I think the cell phones should be taken when the kids arrive at school. The videos from this past year seem to show Lehigh schools that struggle with disciplinary issues where violent incidents are common. Crime, violence, and disruptive behaviors in public schools are tracked using the School Environmental Safety Incident Reporting System, or CESER. There are 26 different types of CESER incidents graded from level one, the most serious, to level four, the least serious. Offenses range from battery and sexual assault to simple harassment, but all represent serious breaches of the student code of conduct. I sorted through the most recent available data for the 2021-22 school year and found that on average, Lehigh schools dealt with double the Sessor incidents that other Lee County schools did. Of the Lehigh incidents, 170 were physical attacks, making up nearly 18% of the data. 
the eat zone in general has kind of been the, the stepchild, and people have said that. Gwen Gittens is the former school board rep for the Lehigh area. She taught there for years and still lives there now. She's seen the rise in disciplinary issues and has ideas about what's fueling them. If Johnny can't read, he's going to act up. Because if he doesn't understand, he does not want to be embarrassed. He does not want to be called out. Discipline, achievement, academic is hand in hand. Persons agrees and says the district is trying to correct Lehigh's shortcomings. There are differences, the amount of money that was spent in the Lehigh district over the years has been lacking, to say the least. The Lehigh area is what the, probably the fastest growing area in Lee County. You're, you're playing catch up, so once that stops, I think we're on the road to that. I think things will even out much, to, much better. If behavioral issues are fueled by struggles in the classroom, data could help explain some issues in Lehigh. I went through numbers for four standardized tests from the most recent data available. Out of every school located in Lehigh Acres, only one scored above Lee School's average in mean scale score, or level three achievement. The impression that the East Zone is the, the bottom of the barrel for educators has got to be fixed. That is the part that the district needs to do. Meanwhile, Patricia is supposed to start seventh grade in the fall. Her family is still not sure where she'll go to school. I have to ensure her that I have to find a safe place for her to feel safe every day. I just want her to come home. I want her to have a safe place to come. Something no young child should ever have to worry about. Reporting in Lehigh Acres, investigative reporter Peter Fleischer Wink News. Now, Lee County isn't the only school district that struggles with bullying. You can click this story on our website for bullying resources in Lee, Charlotte, and Collier Counties.